Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Hey, we're going to be talking about some of Taiwan's historic buildings, and I've seen a couple of these, but I'll admit, I'm a bad tourist, and I haven't been to see.、Uh, Some of the other places that are mentioned here. It's going to be fun to talk about it. I'm sure Tom, who is a great tourist, he's always checking out places around Taiwan. I bet he's seen some of these places, right?、Uh, some, but not all. Okay.、Uh, I do regret that there are some destinations in today's article that I have not、oh. been to. Yeah. And so that's great because that means I. Have the chance to go there in the future. Put them on your list.、Uh, indeed, and we're kind of focusing specifically on historic buildings, places、mm. where there are old buildings still standing from previous eras that、cool. you might check out, and they have not been torn down yet.、Uh, developers have not gotten their greedy hands on <laughs> them and ripped them down to build really high apartment blocks.、Uh, these places actually still exist. So that's what we're going to do today as we begin the month of April. Let's take a trip back in time with Taiwan's historic buildings. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson now one time. Visitors to Taipei are often impressed by its modern infrastructure, its 24-hour convenience, and the imposing skyscrapers and shopping malls of Xinyi District. However, the city, not to mention the rest of the island, has even more to offer. Taiwan is home to some wonderfully picturesque old buildings that offer visitors a glimpse of Taiwan's fascinating past. One example is the Lin family mansion and garden in New Taipei City, built between 1847 and 1851 as the manor of an important local family. The mansion and its extensive gardens and courtyards carry a timeless elegance. Some other examples of Taiwan's most renowned buildings include temples, and few are as stunning as the Chao Tien Temple. In Yulin County, it shows temple architecture in its full glory, and acts as the destination of the annual Daja Matsu pilgrimage. Meanwhile, those in search of peace will enjoy the serene atmosphere and open spaces of the Tainan Confucius Temple. Tainan is also home to Shennong Old Street. Which boasts some of Taiwan's best-preserved traditional street houses. Splendid as they are, these celebrated sites can count themselves fortunate. In 2017, a traditional police dormitory made of Chinese cypress wood was flattened to build new houses. It was just one of many historic buildings destroyed to make room for development. This is a tragedy. As these sites are irreplaceable parts of Taiwan's cultural heritage, once they're gone, there's no way to bring them back. It's vital to preserve these valuable sites, which anyone can do by donating to organizations that look after them, or even by volunteering to work on restoration projects. This way, you'll be keeping Taiwan's history alive for future generations. Okay, let's get to it. Let's discuss the contents of today's lesson. Again, we're taking a trip back in time with Taiwan's historic buildings. I don't think we can literally go back in time. We don't have a time machine, but、uh, the best we can do is to go back and check out the old buildings that are still standing, and maybe imagine what life was like back in those times. So yes, we're taking a trip back in time with those historical buildings here in. Taiwan historic buildings, historic historical. They're similar in meaning. Now visitors to Taipei are often impressed by its modern infrastructure,、mm -hmm. its 24-hour convenience, and the imposing skyscrapers and shopping malls of Shinyi District.、Uh, that is true here. If you talk about the infrastructure of a city or of a country, you're just talking about the basic construction so that the society can function. All the roads, the railways, the power lines. Uh, the internet connections, all that stuff. 
That's right. It does have a great infrastructure,、um, and it is very convenient. I have so many cab drivers who often ask me, "Oh, don't you think it's so convenient to live here?"、Uh, but then I tell them I used to live in New York City, and it's even more convenient. But The thing that I love about the infrastructure here in Taiwan is that it's clean and new. When they build it, it's taken care of, and that's nice. So we've got imposing skyscrapers. If something's imposing and it can be a building, could be a guy who's really tall, like Tom. Tom is quite. Tall, and so if you meet him, he might seem imposing to you, kind、mm. of grand, impressive, big.、Um, so yeah,、uh, there are very beautiful, imposing skyscrapers in Taipei, especially,、um, and shopping malls over there in the Shiny District, which are quite nice. I keep thinking we have plenty of malls. Do we need to build another one? And they keep building them, so maybe I'm wrong. However, it says the city. Not to mention the rest of the island has even more to offer. This is a phrase we use. It's a sentence structure that you'll often see in sentences, and actually we use it in just regular speech as well. If you mention something, and here it's the city, and then you put that phrase "not to mention" followed by another noun. Here our noun is the rest of of Taiwan. So we've got the city, not to mention the rest of the island. It all has even more to offer. Typically, when you use this, it does mean in addition to yes, but it also gives this idea. That the the second thing mentioned is even more true. So of course that that makes sense here because yeah, there's tons to see in the city. But wow, if you take into account all of Taiwan, there's a ton more that the island has to offer, or of course the country has to offer.、Uh, yeah, of course, lots of visitors from outside of Taiwan go straight to Taipei.、Yeah. Some of them、uh, actually don't have a chance to leave Taipei. So we're we're remembering here that. Hey, not only Taipei, but the rest of Taiwan has a lot to offer. So the city, not to mention the rest of the island, has a lot of other stuff that you can enjoy. Sure. Now, Taiwan is home to some wonderfully picturesque old buildings that offer visitors a glimpse of Taiwan's fascinating past. It's nice to have old buildings, but a lot of times we want them to be very attractive and well kept. Okay,、uh-huh. they're not old; they're not falling apart. So we're describing those buildings as being picturesque, which is、uh, similar in meaning to scenic. Okay,、mm-hmm. they're just very attractive to look at. Yeah, kind of like something you'd see in a postcard. Picturesque.、Uh, we'll describe. Buildings that way, or even small towns or villages that are quite beautiful or lovely, so picturesque.、Um, so there is a lot to see. It says it. It's not only got some old buildings,、uh, but these old buildings give you a glimpse into Taiwan's fascinating past. Here, past just is another word for the history of Taiwan. Moving on to the next paragraph, it says one example. Is the Lin family mansion and garden that's located in New Taipei City? I've heard of this place. It's quite famous. I've even walked by it, Tom, and I haven't actually gone in to、oh, see.、No. I had something else to do, somewhere else to be, and I I remember thinking, oh, this is this famous mansion. When you use that word mansion, it gives people the idea that it's a very large. Uh, expensive home that usually has a lot of、uh, gardens to it or yards. It's not just、uh, you know a, a house that's set on the corner of a street. It usually has a lot of、uh, land to it as well. And here they even have a beautiful garden that you can go and see. The Lin family was a famous family in Taiwan's history, and they built something quite beautiful. It was built a long time ago, 1847、um, and 1851. So it took a while to build, and it says it's the manor, a manor of an important local family. Manor is another word.、Um, It's not quite. When I see the word manor, I don't think of a home that's quite as big as a mansion. Mansion is like whoa. They're usually millionaires or even billionaires.、Uh, manor, you know, is is a wonderful word to use if it's a nice, larger sized home.、Um, but you don't have to be really, really rich to have a manor. We actually use it as a joke for my family's home in, in Arizona, Buckley Manor, as a joke. 
Uh, mm. But manner was used, I would say, more in the 1800s, early 1900s, to describe fancy homes.、Uh, you see that sometimes on people's doors here in Taiwan, like、mm. Wang Yu or something. I, I, I translate as the Wang、oh. Manor. Oh, that's nice.、Uh, they use that character, so I would say it's very similar in、mm. meaning here. So this, of course, is the family residence of the Lin family. They're an important family out there in Banshao.、Mm. We're describing this as being in New Taipei City,、uh, which. Which is, used to be Taipei San, of course, and that is in the、uh, Banshao district of New Taipei City. It's a、uh, easily easily accessible. I think you take the Blue Line out there. I can't remember which stop it was, but you get off and you walk for maybe ten or fifteen minutes, and you're there. So it's very convenient. And of course, it goes on to say here it's an important local family's manor and the mansion and its extensive gardens and courtyards、mm. carry a timeless elegance. So these are some of the things you can expect to see there:、uh, extensive gardens, which would be the yards there, maybe flowers and plants and stuff, and courtyards, open areas where people can hang out and sit down and drink tea or something. And we're we're describing this place as having a timeless. Elegance. Elegance is just a great style, a great manner. It's very graceful. It's wonderful, both in its appearance and in how it's used. We also have some other examples of renowned or pretty famous or well-known buildings in Taiwan. Those would include the temples that you see. There's some great temples even in my local neighborhood,、um, but one of the temples that is really considered to be a tourist attraction and described here by our author as being stunning. Stunning is a word we use for something that's really beautiful.、Um, you could use it for a person.、Um, maybe someone's all dressed up for a fancy、uh, dinner or a fancy ball where they, you know, wear those long dresses and tuxedos. They probably look stunning.、Um, This temple is located in Yunlin County, and it's the Chao Tian Temple. I haven't seen it. I bet you have, Tom. Have you seen this one?、Uh, not that I recall.、Oh. I'm going to look this up. This is probably some place I haven't had the、uh, fortune to, to go, go check、mm. out. But、uh, yeah, if you've ever been there, you probably would describe this place as being stunning. And we'll continue talking about the Chao Tian Temple and some other places in the south in just a couple of seconds. But let's take a break right now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, my name is Shelby. We're going to look at Taiwan's old buildings. Okay, the first part of the building. Outside of the Taipei Sun Temple. 台湾还有很多可看之处哦。我们看第一题的地方 ，Taiwan is home to。好 ，is home to 是点点点的所在地，或者是什么的栖息地，暗示拥有的意思，拥有一些很棒的 picturesque。Picturesque 是如诗如画一般的旧建筑。That 形容词短句来形容这些 buildings， 提供了游客一个什么东西 ？Of 台湾的辉煌的过去。我们来看选项的地方。A 选项 contempt 藐视。B menace 威胁麻烦。C glimpse 一瞥一眼。D opponent 对手，所以这题呢，我们答案选 C。Glimpse 可以让游客一窥台湾的历史。那第二段的地方就举例说明有哪些喽。板桥林家花园是其中之一。接着我们到第二题，第二题说还有其他台湾的一些 renowned buildings。Renowned 是有名的，相当于 famous、well known 或 celebrated， 包含了一些庙宇、斗点之后、空格 as stunning as。云林的朝天宫，好 ，as stunning as stunning 是表示令人惊艳的，像朝天宫一般的令人惊艳。前半句呢，它是一个完整的子句，所以逗号之后，在第二题空格的地方，我们要考虑有其一些情形，或者是像连接词。比如说 and， 或者呢是加 v i n g 的分词构句，或者是像 which 或 where 这些关系子句。好，我们来看选项 A 选项 ，few of that are 这个 that 是关系代名词，它前面不可以有介系词，所以加了个 of 不行。B 选项 ，which 呢是代名词兼连接词的功能，它前面又多了一个 and 多此一举了。C 选项 them 呢是人称代名词，可是它前面竟然没有连接词，所以我们需要一个 and。D 选项 
and few are and 连接词 few 是人代名词，表示极少数的意思。所以这题就是我们这第二题的答案。很少有像朝天空那样令人惊艳的旧建筑。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue to take our trip back in time with those historic buildings in Taiwan. Now, we did mention、uh, the exciting part of Taipei and the Xinyi District with those imposing skyscrapers, but we've also mentioned that there are other places in the rest of Taiwan that have a lot to offer. And yeah, you just leave Taipei City just a little bit and go into New Taipei City, out to Banqiao there, and you can check out the Lin Family Mansion. And then before we took our break, we were heading down to Yunlin, where we were checking out the stunning Chao Tian Temple. Yeah, it shows temple architecture in its full glory. That's a phrase we use sometimes when we're just saying something is shown.、Uh, To its best, so it's at best advantage in its full glory.、Um, maybe you have a friend, and you know she gets all dressed up, and you kind of joke with her. Oh, now your your boyfriend can see you in your full glory.、Um, full glory just just means wow. This is the temple to go to if you really want to see beautiful temple architecture. Um, we have some pretty temples here in the north too, but this one is really stunning. It says and acts as the destination or the place people go when they attend that annual Daja Mazu pilgrimage.、Um, so every year, people who want to celebrate、uh, the god Mazu they make that pilgrimage. So if you have a pilgrimage, it means you go from one place to another. Usually, your destination. Is somewhere that includes something that is very、um, meaningful to you. Typically, it's associated with religion or something spiritual.、Um, so, yeah, they have it annually. So, annual just means every year. Have you attended this, Tom?、Uh, no, I'm afraid of crowds and stuff like that. <laughs> Me but, too.、Uh, they always show it on TV, the <laughs> pilgrimage and the procession. Yeah. But、uh, a pilgrimage, of course, is usually some kind of religious trip that people、uh-huh. take. For example. Muslims all over the world are supposed to make a pilgrimage to Mecca、mm-hmm. at least once in their lifetime. Mecca, of course, is the holy city in Saudi Arabia. There, so you'll make a pilgrimage there sometime in your life if you're Muslim. And I guess here in Taiwan, people make that pilgrimage、uh, down to、uh, Chao Tian Temple in Yunlin as well. Now, meanwhile, those in search of peace will enjoy the serene atmosphere and open spaces of the Tainan Confucius. Temple.、Uh, this is one of those、uh, unfortunate things that I've experienced. I've been to Tainan several times and did want to go see the Confucius Temple, but every time I go there, the place is closed. Oh,、uh, it's just a、uh, bad luck. I just、yeah. happened to go on the wrong day,、uh, all those different times. So I've only been on the outside of this temple. I've actually not gone in it. I haven't seen it myself. I've been to Tainan, but I only had kind of half a day. Um, to to run around and see some things,、uh, so that's on my list still. It says Tainan is also home to Shennong Old Street, so it's an old street that has some of Taiwan's best preserved traditional street houses that you can go and check out. I love old things. I love antiques. I love old homes. So this would be a place for me. I didn't have enough time to go see this when I was down in Tainan a couple of years ago either. So that. That sounds wonderful. Splendid as they are, and they're quite wonderful. So you can call them splendid. These celebrated sites can count themselves fortunate. If you're fortunate, you're lucky. Why are they lucky? Well,、um, here's what happened to another、uh, historic building or historic site in 2017. A traditional police dormitory that had been made of Chinese cypress wood was flattened to build new houses. So a dormitory is 
、um, some housing that's set up for students usually to sleep in and and、uh, live in. When I went to college, I lived in the dorms.、Uh, dormitory is just the more formal、uh, word. We. Often just shorten it to a dorm. Oh, I live in the dorm,、uh, but the dorms, yeah, they're quite small rooms. They're not for families usually. They're for students or single people. So yeah, that's a sad thing. If you flatten something, you squash it or destroy it,、uh, so there's nothing there anymore. And it was made of that beautiful Chinese cypress wood, which is so sad. Yeah, it was flattened, or we could say it was torn down, demolished, and yes, demolished. And cypress, of course, is Bo Shu.、Uh, yeah. I guess it's from the central part of Taiwan, there near Ali Shan. So they used Chinese cypress wood there, but they flattened it to build new houses.、Oh. Again, developers got in there and decided that making money was more important. And it was just one of many historic buildings destroyed to make room for development. And that, of course, is always a problem.、Uh, There are some people who want to preserve the old buildings, of course. Me. But then there is progress. People want to make money and、uh, please their families and stuff by,、uh, you know, getting some property, tearing down the old buildings, and building something nice and new, and making a huge profit. Now, this is a tragedy, as these sites are irreplaceable parts of Taiwan's cultural heritage. If something's irreplaceable, well, it simply cannot be replaced. No, something that's irreplaceable is usually. Usually,、uh, something old that you can't go out to the store and buy another one.、Um, irreplaceable things are priceless, pretty much precious things, and these are irreplaceable parts of Taiwan's cultural heritage. So it's very sad. Once they're gone, there's no way to bring them back. Um, this is true, and it's vital or essential to preserve these valuable sites, which anyone can do. Here are some ideas for you. You can donate to an organization. It's usually some sort of、uh, a charitable organization.、Um, they will look after some of these historic buildings,、uh, but they need money, so you can help by donating to those organizations or. What else can you do? You can even volunteer to work on restoration projects. Maybe you have some skills, or you want to, you know, learn some things about restoring old buildings. I would jump in there and and join one of these projects. So restoration just means to return something to its former、um, former condition. You want it to look the way it did when it was first built, instead of old and crumbling and things like that. So.、Uh, Those are two great ideas.、Um, have you、uh, been interested in any of these restoration projects yourself, Tom? Well, kind of, because our recording studio here for this program happens to be in an area where there are quite a few old Japanese houses. True. Yeah.、Uh, and they have been restored in recent years.、Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that because the houses were in such poor condition that to restore them basically required them to be totally rebuilt. Oh, that's not the same to me. <laughs>、uh, yeah. So the the houses that I've seen here in this area of the city、uh, look brand new to me. They don't look like they're the old houses that have been restored. Yeah, they're in the old style. Yeah, yeah. they've just ba- basically used the same style to rebuild、mm-hmm. them. But、uh, I think the old houses are gone. They were in pretty poor condition. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I don't know how to judge that. You know, I guess they probably had no choice there. But、uh, those are some examples of modern restoration products.、Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse projects, me. Projects.、Yeah. Restoration projects. And the verb is to restore, to return something to its original condition. This last line is a line that is、uh, really familiar to English speakers.、Um, if you keep History alive. It just means you talk about it, you teach about it, so that the、um, younger generations, you know, come to appreciate what went before, and the people that sacrificed and produced some beautiful things in the past. We want to take care of them. A lot of the younger generation they、uh, don't know much about history, and that's a shame. I hope that's not true here in Taiwan.
Uh, of course, uh, you know, we have to uh, let progress continue forward, you know, so we can't, uh, you know, stand in the way of progress. And a lot of these buildings just get torn down. I've seen a lot of those old San Huyen buildings get torn down over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, they used to stand in strange places. And then, of course, a developer got a hold of it, raised it to the ground and built a new apartment complex. So that seems to be the wave of the future. Hopefully we can put a stop to that. Oh, Tom, I want to mention you, you used a word that's probably kind of tricky for them to raise you might think it means to um bring something up right but here mm. the raise is a different raise how's it spelled r-a-z-e raised to the ground that torn down to, yeah flatten it flatten yeah. it basically so yeah there you go there's our lesson for today so hopefully you can check out some of these old buildings before they're gone forever it's time now everybody to listen to our chinese teacher once again 第三题，我们来看一下。同时呢，那些寻找和平的人 ，in search of 是寻找的意思，来后位修饰前面的 those。那这些人会享受什么的 atmosphere 气氛，和开放空间 of 台南的孔庙。好，这题我们要考文艺。寻找 peace 的人，当然就会享受孔庙的什么气氛呢？我们看选项 A serene， 宁静的 ；B vague， 含糊的 ；C。Compact, 小型的，紧凑的。D, ironic, 讽刺的。所以这题我们答案就选 A, serene, 宁静的气氛。第四题，台南同时也拥有了神农老街 ，which 孔格是台湾一些最被保存良好的街屋。Preserve 是动词，保存。那加个 ed 变成过去分词，表示被保存的。好，会取是形容词子句，形容前面的神农老街。也就是说呢，后面这一句话应该是神农老街的特色。那既然又提到保存良好的街屋，可见是引以为荣，可以借此吹嘘。我们来看选项 A 选项 ，tempt 引诱。B commit 犯罪或做坏事。C boast 拥有或吹嘘夸耀，以什么为荣 ？D exiles 流放。那一文一答案是选 C boast。接着到第三段的地方，第五题空格。之后，这些有名的景点 ，celebrated 是有名的，可以 count。count 呢是计算数的意思，这里当成 consider， 表示认为、看作的意思，可以把他们自己看成 fortunate， 幸运的，也就是他们算是幸运的。我们来看选项，有 A、B、C、D 这四个里面。都有 as， 虽然 though， 虽然 although， 虽然这些暗示的字眼，表示说这是一个让步子句。在这种让步子句中，我们可以把形容词或副词提到前面，变成倒装。可是呢，它的连接词就只能用 as 或者是 though，although 是不行的哦。所以，我们这题答案选 B，splendid， 华丽的，加 as， 虽然加 they are。好。他们还举了一个例子，就是有一个传统的警察宿舍被移平了。那这是一个没有办法在我们的历史中被取代的部分。我们看第六题的地方，怎么样子？他们消失了。There's no way， 就是不可能的。再把他们复原。这题空格我们要放副词连接词。前面的句子提到说，这些台湾文化遗产是 irreplaceable。不可取代的，也就可以推知啊，一旦他们被摧毁，就没有办法复原。四个选项中，一旦的意思选 A once， 所以很重要喽，来保存这些有价值的景点。那么每个人可以做的事情，要么就是 by donating 捐钱 ，or 要么就是 by。怎么样子 ？To work on. To work on 是表示从事做什么事情，后面直接加受词。Restoration projects 就是一种复原的计划。我们来看选项 A: convicting 宣判有罪 ；B: transmitting 传送 ；C: diminishing 削弱减少 ；D: volunteering 自愿。好，这边有提出两个维护古迹的方法，一个是捐钱，可以推测；另外一个就是出力，自愿参加修护工作。所以我们选 D，volunteering。以上是今天的讲解，谢谢收听。
That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.